Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the LSU Tigers. Number 14 is one of the X factors of this basketball club who can lead them to a win tonight. This kid is a challenge for anybody in offense, Brad. He's got frightening foot speed, and he's more than capable of hitting the jack if you leave him open. The Tigers will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Tigers are facing a very formidable opponent, Dick. What are the keys to their success? Hey, tonight the keys to their success are these, Brad. First, I look for the point guard to be in control of the team out there. He's got to be the leader. He's got to be the boss. He's got to be in command. Next, make good passes and force the other team to play honest defense. And lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Down inside. He tries the jump hook. Doesn't go. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Gave it up. Number two takes the pass. Got the high pick. In and out. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. And he missed. On the outside, number 14 with the ball. From right at the circle, tickles a twine. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Oh, right, right there, they missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when a guy is open. It's a special heart, feet of the post. Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Brad, it's rocking and rolling in here, baby. Number one is pretty fired up and excited. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The shooting guard takes the feed. Number 12, pump fakes. Tries for two. Buried it. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Oh, what a strip, Rad. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Watch this again. Double team now, bad angle. Number one gets the ball. There's the trap. He attempts the trifecta. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Now try to feed the low block. He fakes the shot. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. That's basic. Number 14 gets the pass. Leans in. He's money with the shot. We'll get a better look on the replay. the low block turns it over top of the circle they work it around the perimeter good defensive stance there against the spin move well the key is to beat him to the spot he did a great job he anticipated that spin move 
He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. He steps up to the line. First shot is good. Both free throws go. They go into the low block. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Number 11 takes it away. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Rebounding is such an effort thing. Getting to the glass, blocking it out. There aren't enough good rebounding teams in the nation. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Alabama have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He's got to pass those off, Dick. He doesn't trust his teammates, Brad. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. And in and out. Both teams are looking to get something going here. He's got to get rid of it. Number 11. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. He'll visit the charity strike. Routine. That's a 7-0 run. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to drive the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. In the paint, he attempts a jump hook. They still don't score. the turnaround jumper can't get the shot to drop oh yes the frustration right there this is swarming defense Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He pulls the trigger. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. But Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. LSU have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. Momentary look from three-point land. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Tries for two. And he scores despite the hack. Working it around the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. 
Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Goes up for two. Dick, he's just taking too many bad shots. And I don't think he's done yet, Brad. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But they're not falling, and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. He bombs from outside, way off target. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. That spin move's not going to work against a defense uh, like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting close play because they were really anticipating the spin. Gave it up. Three-point territory. He nails the shot. Great anticipation defensively. Now they work it around the perimeter. He shoots from outside. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. There he is, strips the ball loose. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby. Gave it up. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help soft. Both teams looking to get things going here. High post screen. The shot from the baseline. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Up and inside. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Fakes it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two. And he scores it off the glass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, both the players and coaches seem really confused right now around the benches. Again, the focus seems to be getting their number one guy going. They haven't been able to do anything without him tonight. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. High post flasher is open. Looking for the foul. Up and in. We get another look at it in the lane. That's 
one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. The ruckus fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. He drains the shot. On the outside. Stop and pop. Off the rim and no good. Stolen away. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? For the bucket. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too, when he goes up and under. He seals off the defensive play. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. They'll work it around the arc. Lobs it, trying to draw the foul. Up, easy one. My goodness, players these days and their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Number 14, the layup's good and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration, taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to hack you. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Gave it up. Pull up jumper from way out, way off target. He looks at the hoop. The fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. See, that's what I like. A good rebound. Too many players these days want to score and do all the fancy stuff. Rebounding doesn't get you on Sports Center, but it helps your team win. The center is going crazy. Baton Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip going one way and spin back the other way. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop of this possession. With the fake. From left of the circle. It's good. Wow, can we get slow-mo, please? Green. Look at that spacing. Fake. The kick out. Step out on that screener. He shoots from long range. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, drains the shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter and off the mark.
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. On the inside. Good fake. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. Number three picks up the foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. High post flashes. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Way off target. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Nice fake. Executes the baby hook. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Hey, that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. <laughs> oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Coming inside. There's the block. That was awesome, baby. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Looking for a good shot. Gave it up. There appears and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. On the dribble, gives it up. Top of the circle, he gets the shot to fall. Shot clock is dead. Jumped in front to take it away. They work it around the perimeter. Goes for the deep one. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice jumper. At the end of the first half, the Tigers are trailing by two. Well, Dick, so far we've got a close one. Any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. LSU carelessly gave away a lot of possessions by turning the ball over. Their coach's staff must be livid right now. The amount of extra opportunities they're giving away is just absurd. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. They'll work it around the arc. He looks for the bomb. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. For two. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Jump hook from the low block. I did a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective.
This young guy is a crowd favorite, Dick. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. My goodness, Mr. Nestle, that was phenomenal, baby. Number two is called for the foul. First personal foul. Applying pressure. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Stolen away. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the outside. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Gave it up. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. With the hook. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. LSU are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. There's a high screen. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. On the dribble, gives it up. It's ridiculous in here. The center is going mad. That Rouge has come alive, Mr. Nestler. the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He gets the shot to fall. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Picked out of the air. With a quarterback pass. Brains the shot. They scored eight in a row. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Sets the screen for his teammate. He dials long distance. The friendly bounces aren't going their way at the moment, Dick. They need to get some easier looks, Brad. Trying to draw some contact. Number 14 with a finger roll. Time out on the floor. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. 
for the bucket. They're trying to build an entire neighborhood with all those bricks, Brad. They need some buckets, and they need them in a hurry. They work the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Got a man in high post. Gave it up. Land. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He puts up the three ball. Off the rim and no good. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I did a great spin move to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. Shoots from outside. Way off target. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Fires away. Off the rim and no good. I think that's why college basketball has the following it does, Dick. People from all over town and throughout the campus come and enjoy themselves at these games. My goodness, it's chaotic in here. Look at that spacing. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He unloads a three. He hits the shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Way off target. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That's a great response by this crowd. Hey, that reaction says it all. These fans are ecstatic, Brad. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Plays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Working it around the perimeter. Number two is charged with the foul. Second personal foul. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Thanks, Aaron. Off the rim and no good. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen ball. Looking for a good shot. From left of the circle, way off target. A 
on the outside. Entry pass in the paint. Stolen ball. Now the turnaround jump. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. And now they'll bring it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. The Tigers lead by six. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Almost lost the basketball. Got the high pick. Shot off. I post screen, gonna use it. Number 11 draws the personal. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. He hits his first. Second one, no good. Rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. They work the perimeter. He gets the rejection. The last line of defense is a good block. The outside intercepted and that one's blocked number 14 with the foul second personal foul I can't emphasize it enough Brad it's important to get to the charity strike. It's the first. It's two at the charity strike. They work it around the perimeter. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Questionable shot selection there. Glad I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. Picks off the pass. Working around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Are they confused about who goes where on that double team? Oh, there's no doubt. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gets the rebound. They need to get out and run their lanes now. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes away the pass. Gave it up. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Pushes it up. 
Number 12 is whistled for the foul. First personal foul. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Dumps it in. Intercepted. They get out on the break. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Let's see that up close. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. I call these words knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. He seems absolutely adverse to taking any good shots right now. And with that, his teammates may be getting a little bit frustrated. The center handles the pass. Look at that spacing. Got a guy right on it. Looking to move it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. The power forward handles the feed. Alabama are a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. He'll kick it back outside for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Man, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop in this possession. Picks off the pass. Brad, this place will be dusty if they can score here. Goes up for two. No. The power forward receives the ball. He looks for the bomb. Got it. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Tigers have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Looking for a good shot. The power forward receives the pass. That alley -oop came down like thunder from above, baby. That was a great job of execution. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He tries the three. Awesome job of running his guy into the screen to get off that jam. And the fans are going wild. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Really, do you see a player who takes pride in his rebounding, getting in the paint, and expending the effort? Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Now they work it around the perimeter. The three. He gets that one to fall.
Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. For the deuce. I tell you, once you get a deep position like that, it's automatic. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And the ball goes out of play. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Here's a double team. He shoots from the top of the circle. He misses from long distance. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He shoots from the top of the key. He takes the three. Goes in. Timeout, they want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team, Aaron. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. I look for something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. It's a five-point ball game. That's not a lot of points to be down with this much time, Brad. They should try for an early foul here. Well, it's time to start fouling. They got to stop the clock, Dick. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. Number 12 goes to the line for the first time. Makes the front end of the one and one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. Gets the second shot. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Moving it around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Off the rim and no good. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Number 34 goes to the line for the one and one. Foul shot, no good. He puts up the tray. Rims out. Pushes it. Steals the pass. He goes for three. You can't go those kind of stretches against a team of this quality and expect to win. He intercepts it. He tries the buzzer beater. Misses the tray. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. LSU loses a nail-biter. I don't think anyone expected him to pull out a win tonight. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being here.